Denny Segura for MMAfighting.com. I'm here with UFC heavyweight Juan Espino. Juan, uh, first of all, we, we haven't heard from you in, in a long time. Uh, what, why is that? You, you won the Ultimate Fighter. Um, wh what has kept you out of action? After my semifinal versus Maurice, uh, I have a big injury in my, in my hands. Um, I'm fine the final, but I don't have time for, for surgery. Uh, with, I broke my hands in, in the final completely. Uh, after this, I go to surgery. The surgery is more, more heavy and more long time for recovery, but no, no, no have a, the surgery in the first moment. This, this is everything I have now. Uh, Record in my hand, and maybe in three, four months more, I have a fight. Uh, is, is this the biggest surgery you've ever had, or the biggest injury? Yeah, sure. For my, my hand, it's sure. Yeah. It's, this is the most time I have stopped the, after one fight. Has it been hard? Has it been frustrating to you know be out of action? Yeah, but I, now I, I feel very good. No, I, now I feel perfect. Only have uh, the okay for the doctor for for uh, for ready the next camp and the, my my next fight. So ideally, um, when would you w w when are you targeting a, a return back to the UFC? I believe maybe November, December is a good date for 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 come back to the UFC. Uh, I I am very hungry for come back the fight. I I look the I look the cage. I look everything. I. I, I ready, but my hand is no recovery. I, I need the time. Do you regret taking the fight with with your hand messed up? No, this is my opportunity. I, I need uh, win this fight. Uh, no hands, no leg, no head. I, I need win this fight 100%. Now uh, I'm, I'm gonna say this, but you told me that your English was so so, but it's actually really good. I don't know, but <laughs> it's my, I understand. 60% that you speak me, uh, the other uh, I imagine, but my <laughs> my is no good. No. I need more time for 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 taking English. Yeah. And uh, you have a, a very interesting style, right? A, a Canary uh, Island uh, wrestling, right? Uh, why is that different than, or can you describe to me like what that style is like, and is it different from regular wrestling like here in America? But the most different is uh, the first time is the balance. Uh, after the start of the fight, I know possible touch the sand. My hands, my knee, nothing. I know possible touch. In the moment touch the sand, I, I lost the fight. In the American wrestling, is you need touch the, the, the you have to defend the sprawl. Uh, when you enter, you touch the the, the mat and not have problem. The other difference is uh, uh, the the way. Canada wrestling maybe have 350 pounds. Don't worry for fight and. And uh, record Roman and freestyle, may, I, I know must maybe 260 to 65 is the, is the maximum. It's, it's, it's the principal difference. Is is this style only unique to where you are from Spain, or can we see it elsewhere? Because really, I think most fans only got introduced to it when you uh, came in the UFC. This is style is only Canary Island. Canary Island is seven islands from from Morocco, from Africa. But it's uh, Spain. But uh, this wrestling, I not no 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 training in the Spanish people. Well, no Spanish people. The Canary Island is only place the world the the training this this especially wrestling. Do you think knowing that style of wrestling gives you an edge and an advantage and makes you unique in the UFC? I don't know. This is uh, this wrestling is only have good balance and strong and competition every week. This is a uh, when I go fight, I have relax and no stress. But no, it's a grappling, no, it's a submission. It's only takedown. Maybe have many uh, good uh, ability, but no, it's the the best martial art for MMA, I believe. And uh, as far as your return, uh, who would you like to fight? Do you have anyone in mind or any card specifically? I know UFC is often going to Latin America. I like the mini event. Uh, I like go to the October for the Robert Whittaker versus Israel in Australia, but it's not half the time. Uh, I believe it's maybe I ready for to November in, in New York, Madison Square Garden is uh, I don't know, it's the, a dream of the all the all the fighter. But 
I know it's my decision. It's the doctor's decision. I am ready. I am training. The moment the, uh, my my doctor say me you are okay, I go in. The the opening, I am ready for everything. And maybe you not know, like five or my training camp guys, the American top team, but this is this is this is a sport. No, I don't have like this guy or the other one. I am ready for everybody. Last thing, uh, any message to your fans? I know you know since you've been out for a while. I don't know if you wanna say something to them and, and, and address uh, your fans that are waiting for your return. I am, um, thank you very much for everybody I uh, support me. Uh, and the moment I go for the street, uh, say me thanks, uh, saying, uh, give me a picture, uh, it's, it's uh, a big dream for me. Uh, I, it's uh, a big moment for my, my life. Uh, I am, in the moment I am ready, I go for 100% for everybody happy for the fight, but only take it easy. All right, Juan, thank you very much for your time. Man.